we must sign a defensive midfielder, a pivot, because Busquets left the club and they need a player in that position. Xavi said, we must do that. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Fabrizio Romano here as always to keep you posted on the transfer market. And today, guys, we touch on Jude Bellingham. What's going on? What's going to be the next step for Real Madrid? Is it going to be a swap deal with Brahim Dietz included in the negotiation? Also, important to say, guys, something about the situation of Mason Mount at Chelsea and Barca new signing. Let's jump into it. To go. And guys, let me start with Barcelona because in an important press conference, Xavi Hernandez, Barca manager, confirmed two important things. The first one is that Matteo Lemani is staying at Barcelona director, and this is not a detail. The agreement with Aston Villa has completely collapsed. Now, Matteo Alemani stays at Barcelona. Jordi Cruyff leaves Barcelona. Deco will join Barcelona too. So it's going to be Alemani, Deco, the board of Barcelona, to support, of course, Xavi and the president. Juan Laporta, and this is the idea. The second thing is about the priority signing. Xavi said, we must sign a defensive midfielder, a pivot, because Busquets left the club and they need a player in that position. Xavi said, we must do that. This is a priority for them. And so the reality, from what I understand, is that there are three names to keep an eye on in this moment. First of all, as I already told you, for Joshua Kimmich, uh, Bayern have no intention to negotiate, so at the moment there is absolutely nothing because for Bayern he's absolutely untouchable. Important to say that Ruben Neves will wait for Barcelona. Barcelona have an agreement on the contract of the player, an excellent relationship with Jorge Mendes, but the deal is not a priority for Xavi in this moment. And this is why the player will wait, but Barca have different priorities. Zubi Bendi from Real Sociedad is the favorite option of Xavi. He loves Zubi Mendy. In the press conference also said he's an extraordinary pivot. And so Xavi wants Zubi Mendy at Barcelona. But the reality is that it's going to be really difficult to negotiate with Real Sociedad. Also because the player is really happy there. He's not desperate to leave the club. And so this makes things more difficult. So let's see what's going to happen on Zubi Mendy. Almost impossible at this stage for Joshua Kimmich. Ruben Neves, not a priority. Keep an eye, as always, on Sofian Amrabat, because Amrabat wanted the move in January. From what I understand, Amrabat absolutely wants to join Barcelona in the summer. His priority is La Liga over Premier League, imagine. So he would love to go to La Liga as full priority. Let's see how the conversation will be with Fiorentina. Fiorentina now will be busy with two finals, one in Coppa Italia and one in Conference League. And then they will discuss the potential price tag of Sofian Amrabat. But Barca will go for a new pivot. For sure, Real Madrid will go and try to complete the Jude Bellingham deal very soon. We heard rumors of a swap deal, so of a player included in the negotiation between Borussia Dortmund and Real Madrid. And the name mentioned was Brahim Diaz. We know Brahim Diaz is on loan to AC Milan, but he will return to Real Madrid. From what I understand, not true. Brahim Diaz will not be part of the Jude Bellingham deal. No way. So forget about that. Borussia Dortmund want money. Borussia Dortmund want important money. Real Madrid know that very well. They are preparing their proposal. The proposal will be there very soon. It will be close, as I already told you, 100 million euros. It will include bonuses, add-ons. The agreement with the player is done. So Jude Bellingham wants Real Madrid. Uh, Jude Bellingham is following everything about Real Madrid. He's already studying Real Madrid style, games, everything about Real Madrid. So Bellingham is ready for that. Now waiting on the clubs. Real Madrid will make that proposal, but Brahim Diaz will not be part of the story. Let's clarify that. Also important is to say that Real Madrid are convinced that the feelings of this negotiation are positive. So Real Madrid are very optimistic to get it done in the next weeks. So work in progress from Jude, for Jude Bellingham to Real Madrid, agreement with the player, waiting on the clubs, and then discussing about midfielders, English midfielders, Maison Mount. Guys, we can confirm that Mauricio Pochettino would love to keep Maison Mount. For example, there is not the same level of obsession with Mateo Kovacic. For Mateo Kovacic, there is a concrete chance to leave Chelsea in the summer. Pochettino is not obsessed with keeping him. But for Mateo, uh, Kovacic is different than Maison Mount. For Maison Mount, Pochettino would be really happy to keep him at the club. He's pushing to have Maison Mount at the club next season, but it's also true that at this stage the agreement is still not close between Mount and Chelsea over new contracts. So let's see how the conversation will continue. The interest of Liverpool is still there. Mount is a priority target for Liverpool. Let's mention again also Arsenal because Arsenal will invest in the midfield and Mount is a player they appreciate, but Liverpool are working on that since long time. And so let's see how it will continue. Pochettino will push to keep Mount, but at the moment remains a complicated negotiation over new contracts.
And so guys, let me know your thoughts on all these stories, Mason Mount, Jude Bellingham, also uh, the situation around uh, the swap deal uh, that will not happen with uh, Brahim Diaz. And so all these stories, what do you think about that? And who is your favorite pivot for Barcelona project? I wait for your comments here, guys, as always. Remember to like this video, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to the channel and see you soon with the next.